Right, we can speak now to Brandon Tatum, a former police officer and founder and CEO of the Officer Tatum. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. My pleasure. So we're going to talk about lots of the wider issues just in a moment, but first of all, just wanted to get your reaction to the conviction. Well, first of all, I think most of what I heard on the broadcast all the way here is confusing to me. Um, I think we're living in the twilight zone. This conviction, in my personal opinion, did nothing for our country. I mean, people are, are living a lie. I mean, this is one police officer, one person in the community. They found him guilty. This was the swiftest justice I've ever seen in my life. The day after the film came out, he was arrested. Um, he was tried. Ten hours of deliberation, he was convicted. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure why people are acting like this, mon this is monumental. Also, he did not get a fair trial, in my personal opinion. There was a lot of obstruction that had happened. They paid the family out $27 million before the jury could be selected. I mean, they're going to have a case in appeal. So I, I, I don't know why people are celebrating, and I don't know why this is such a big focal point, other than people are making money off of the pain of people in our country. So you, well, you're, you're objecting firstly to some of the things that happened around the trial, which now that there is a conviction, I think we should probably park that. But secondly, you're upset that there's an amalgamation here of a wider sense of a landmark case and this one specific court case. Yeah, this is not a landmark case. I think people are, this is a political agenda. They're pushing lies in our country. Policing in America is not inherently racist. We don't live in a racist country. This was an interaction between a police officer that I thought did the wrong thing and a black man who was on drugs high, resisting arrest, and ended up being killed by that police officer. That's as simple as it can be. The president of the United States got out and, and made a fool of himself trying to promote racism in a simple uh, police encounter that the officer got convicted on. So you, re you, re you, reject, that you, re you reject President Biden's comments about systemic racism and it being a stain on the whole uh, nation? Yes, President Biden is an idiot, in my personal opinion, and he's just talking because he's a politician. Systemic racism, I mean, if you look at Joe Biden himself, you know, he, he spoke at a Ku Klux Klan member's funeral and did the eulogy of Robert Byrd. I mean, he is white supremacy and racism, if you if you want to want to say that is the case. And now he's the president. So if he really cared about white supremacy and racism, he should step down as the president because he's an exemplification of that very thing. These people are just running their mouth and they're not being honest. We don't have a, pr a problem with racism in our country. We have a problem with people not following the law. We also have a problem with politicians making up things so they can get reelected. And that's exactly what has been happening. That's why you never see anything change. They're lying to us. So the rate of people being killed by police is the rate is higher amongst black people than amongst the rest of the population. What do you, how that's do you account for that is, if that isn't a systemic racism problem? Yeah, that's not, first of all, that's not true. Twice as many white people go killed by police every year. Twice as many white people are killed unarmed by police every year. You just don't see it. There's a gentleman named Tony Temper. I guarantee you anybody watching me have no idea who Tony Temper is. Tony Temper was murdered in the same fashion that George Floyd was killed. But because he was white, we don't hear about it and nobody cares about it. Nobody's talking about police reform when he was suffocated and killed, but they only talk about it because George Floyd is black. Black people commit over half of violent crimes in this country and only make up 13% of the population. They commit um, over half of the murders in this country, but only make up 13% of the population. And we can agree that 13% of the population aren't the criminals. There's only a small fraction of the black community that's doing this. So that explains why police are in the black communities more. And that explains why black people are incarcerated more. They are making up lies saying that it has anything to do with racism. Do you understand that there's black police officers too that patrol in many of these majority black cities? Are they racist? No, that's not the case. They're just making these things up, in my personal opinion, and they're riding a wave of dead black people in order to make money and be politically um, and get political leverage. Brandon Tatum, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.